than that. Okay, the, the D.A.R.E. program, it's the Drug Abuse Resistance Education Program. Uh, what it is, it's a, a community policing program where a, a trained police officer goes into the, the elementary schools in the fifth and seventh grades and teaches a core program uh, about uh, students making good and healthy decisions. Uh, and we, we practice uh, different scenarios. We talk about peer pressure and all the negative things that drugs and alco alcohol can do to their young body. How many students this year do you have? We have 52. 52. Uh, we started out with 49, and we gained gained three over over the uh, the time in class. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you brought some of the students with you. Yeah, today we picked we picked five of the the top essays, and I brought I brought five of the students with. Uh, I'm going to have them introduce themselves in a minute here, um, and we're going to have them read not in any particular order, uh, and then tonight we're going to have to whittle that down to to three, and we're going to have three read at the graduation ceremony tonight. Uh, we're also going to have uh, a canine presentation by the North Dakota Highway Patrol uh, coming out of Bismarck, and we're also going to have the uh, Vince Ament. He's the uh, Wells County Juvenile Supervisor, mm -hmm. uh, and he deals with uh, some troubled teens, uh, and he deals with uh, uh, the kids that haven't made such good decisions. So he's going to he's going to talk about the importance and stress the importance of making good decisions in our lives. Okay. Uh, so. So that's it. We'll get started here, and uh, I'll first have Tana Sears go ahead, and then we'll just go down the line and have them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Tana, and this is my D.A.R.E. report. D.A.R.E. is an amazing program for kids like me to be in. Officer Belfort taught us many things like don't do drugs, don't get into alcohol, and when someone wants you to do something bad or your parents don't want you to do, you stand tall, make your voice clear, and say no with a capital N. He taught us that what D.A.R.E. stands for. It stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. I learned that nicotine is in cigarettes. That's why people are addicted to them. We learned that alcohol advertising is everywhere. It is, it is on baby bibs, shirts, hats, you name it, they got it. It's called free advertising because when you wear the product that has their logo on it, you advertise it to everyone else. D.A.R.E. isn't only about drugs and alcohol. You also learn how to... How, you also learn how to be a good friend. We learned that it is always hard to say no to a friend. Dare is always fun to have, especially with Officer Belfort. I can't wait till 7th grade to have Dare again. Hi, my name is Eric Lauren, and this is my Dairy Fart. Hi, my name is Eric Lauren, and this year I was in Dare. Dare has two meanings. The first one is drugs, abuse, resistance education and the second one is define, access, respond, evaluate. The DARE program is fun because you get to learn about drugs and alcohol. You learn new stuff every lesson. One of the DARE meetings that work really good is the define, access, respond, and evaluate. evaluate. The things I've learned are really important because some of the things are legal and they can hurt or kill you. If you are selling tobacco to anyone 18 or younger, it is illegal. Cigarettes have 200 poisons in it. Marijuana, marijuana is illegal in the U.S. It can be addictive. It causes breathing problems for you. Alcohol can hurt you if you're not the one drinking. If you mix alcohol with some medicine, it can be dangerous. Most teens don't drink alcohol. My decision is to not do drugs, alcohol, and tobacco because it can hurt you and your body. The DARE decision-making model is really helpful because it helps you make wise decisions. My commitment is to make wise decisions is to think of, to think about all the harmful things alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs can do to you. So when I get older, I'm not going to do drugs and alcohol. In DARE, I learned a lot. I feel all schools should have DARE. DARE to me is an opportunity to open new doors and stay drug free. Many people in the USA are drug users and smokers, and most of them are teenagers. I also believe that being drug and violence free is important because a lot of people are getting killed because of alcohol and getting drunk. Alcohol also affects the teenage body more than the body of an adult. There's a lot to learn about drugs and how they affect you. If you have tried drugs and keep using them, it could eventually kill you. Whether you are used to it or not, it could or will shut down your vital organs. Some of the people who are dying right now are probably because a tobacco-related cause, cause. 
Over 400,000 people die of drug use each year. If we work together, we can stop violence and drug use so that our world is a better place. Most people don't think it's bad to smoke, but it is, because the tar turns your lungs black. If you don't smoke or do drugs, you should help someone who does. This is very important. I believe if parents do drugs or smoke, their kids will probably end up doing drugs just like them. It also depends on your environment, where you grow up, because if the kids where you smoke put peer pressure on you to smoke. I enjoyed the D.A.R.E. program because it teaches you not to do drugs and other bad stuff. In the future, I plan to be drug free to make a difference in my life and the people around me because to me it is very important and we can all work together to be drug free. So please stay free, stay drug free, not for yourself but for the kids in the USA. Hi, my name is Carrie Wolf and this is my D.A.R.E. part. I'm so honored that we have the chance to be in D.A.R.E. Having Mark as a D.A.R.E. teacher was great. He helped me understand that no one can make your decisions for you. You have to make your own decisions. We learned so much this year in D.A.R.E. Here are some things Mark taught us. He taught us about how alcohol can cause you to do things you don't want to do. We learned drugs like marijuana can contain 50% to 75% to 70 more of some cancer causing chemicals that then tobacco smoke in. Then we got into peer pressure and how to say no to alcohol and other drugs. Peer pressure is a risky situation. I think the D.A.R.E. program is sending a very important message. This is what I think about D.A.R.E. In D.A.R.E. we have learned what to do in sticky situations and facts about tobacco, alcohol, inhalants, and marijuana. Some people think that smoking and drinking is cool, but it is not at all cool, and here is why not. Alcohol slows down the brain and the body, so it is harder to do everything. And marijuana affects your brain and body, like short-term memory loss, loss of the ability to concentrate, slows coordination and reflexes, and affects your ability to judge distance, speed, and reaction time. Tobacco kills 403,000 people each year because of breathing the smoke. 3,000 are killed each year. And it gives you breathing problems and more colds and causes heart disease. And I personally think that all of that is enough to keep me from smoking and drinking. And I think that their program is great and more people should have it. So in DARE I learned about inhalants, marijuana, alcohol, and tobacco. I pledge to the D.A.R.E. program to stay off of alcohol, back on other drugs. Oh, and I'm James. Every, uh, every student has something unique. Uh, every student, you know, thankfully, a majority of the core values, the self-esteem, the peer, the decision-making, uh, you know, being respectful, uh, responsible, and having realistic choices in life, you know, that, for, throughout a majority of the essays, that comes through. Um, and it, it's good to hear that they're having fun. You mm -hmm. always learn more when you're having fun, and I think that's that's the key. And as you said in, in previous classes, you uh, develop a, a great relationship uh, through the years with these younger ones. Not when they're you know the class they're in now, but uh, further down the road. Yep, we do go back in the in the seventh grade just to reinforce that. Uh, of course, they're in a different you know in seventh grade they're in a little different uh, peer setting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're a little more mature. Uh, they might be faced with some different, you know, pretty realistic decisions uh, they need to make. So we go back and we re reinforce those core uh, decision-making uh, models uh, and that, that healthy decision-making uh, process. Uh, and it, it's really it's really nice over the years that we've been doing, you know, of course now we have their students, past their students that are in high school. and. You know, every once in a while, uh, I'll have a dare kid come up to me and say, "You know, I was I was here or there, and I saw this or that, and I, you know, I just thought, you know, boy, if they would have had dare class, they would have they'd known that all this bad thing, all these bad things that could happen to them." And, and to me, that's really where it, it hits home. Uh, and, and I think Jan said it best. I mean, we're all out to help other people, and I, and I think that that's something that these guys can take into the world for themselves so they have ownership of the program for themselves.